Truth be told, I haven't cleaned my PC in two and a half years, ever since I upgraded the CPU cooler. This thing has been running basically every day for hours on hand, and it hasn't felt the touch of an air compressor since January of 2021. And it shows, it has gotten filthy AF, look at all this dust! It's everywhere, everything is coated in a thick sheet of dust, even the cables and some surfaces on the back. And look at that front filter, one of my friends said it looked like a British telephone box coated in snow, so I decided it's finally time I roll up my sleeves and get rid. Skip to the timestamp on the screen if you just wanna see the temperature tests. Now let's begin with the edit. Now it's time for some temperature test. Before cleaning, I tested the PC with a mixture of Blender Classroom and New Engine Valley We have a very heavy but realistic workload. I kept everything the same, the same background programs open, I even physically removed myself from the room and ran the AC to keep a consistent temperature inside the room. In the dusty test, the CPU hit its max operating temperature almost immediately after less than 4 minutes. As you can see in this graph, the CPU clock clop, as you can see in this graph, the CPU clock kept bouncing a little bit over the place after the CPU hit 95 degrees Celsius instead of being mostly smooth like it was in the first 4 minutes. The GPU instead held on for a little longer but started throttling on and off around 6 minutes in. You can see here also the GPU clock being all over the place after the 6 minutes. After dusting, but before the thermal paste change, I ran some quick tests. Unfortunately, I screwed up some settings and got a 20 minute test instead of a 30 but the CPU settled around 87 degrees Celsius at the end, around 8 degrees Celsius lower than before. Already a huge difference considering all I did was just blow some hair inside of the case. On the GPU it was a similar situation. Towards the end of the test, the temperature kept oscillating between 72 and 75 degrees Celsius at the worst, an 8 degrees Celsius difference, which isn't bad. The temperature seems to be all over the place too, but this is because the benchmark I chose has 3D scenes looping with a black screen in between, so unlike the CPU, it's not gonna be a constant 100% load, so that's perfectly regular. After changing the thermal paste and some other finishing touches, I did the same tests. The CPU slowly warmed up, reaching 82 degrees Celsius after 30 minutes. It seems a little high for Ryzen 5 2600X, but in fairness, my case has restricted airflow. On that note, get subscribed, I have a video planned about how you can get a better airflow with a simple 3D print if you have a Corsair 275R like me. Continuing, the GPU warmed up a lot slower, reaching around 86 to 72 degrees Celsius at the worst, 
I remain there, not going any higher, oscillating the temperature in this small range. Overall, I think this has been a huge success, dropping 10 to 15 degrees, but also having the PC take more time to warm up. Next time I'll make sure to spray with hair every once in a while instead of every once in a decade. Well, I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to be in a better headspace to concentrate more on content creation now. I even got this cool new avatar, look at this, it's not finished yet, I still have some finishing touches, but anyway, that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment if you want, and I'll see you again in the next video.